Angus Management and the Rescue at the Sluice Gate Angus Management is an animal detective extraordinaire. He is the finder of lost socks, the guardian of lost people, and the go-to guy for any mystery or puzzle in Helene's Hill. Angus was on the turn for home after a night on patrol around Helene's Hill. He sped silently along the man-made river towards the Sluice Gate. The Sluice Gate allows water to travel from one end of the river to the other. They open to stop the floods. They are large, heavy metal gates that loom high out of the water and they clunk noisily as they open and close. When they are open, a torrent travels through them like water falling out of the biggest tap in the world. It is a frightening and dangerous place. In the water below him, he sees the fastest flash of silver as a giant pike swims with everything he's got towards the gate. The pike is moving super fast and every muscle in his silver body is visible as he flexes his way through the river. Angus knows this pike. His name is Grimacy Sideface and he is the most feared animal in the river at Telenge Hill. He is also the kindest, and Angus owes him his life. Angus sinks back to a day when he was trapped in the reeds at the side of the river. He had been trying to rescue a duckling that had paddled too far away from his mother. Water is not a natural place for an owl, and he was sinking, being dragged down by the sticky mess of plants that provide a home to the animals that live halfway in and halfway out of the water. Out of the corner of his eye he saw an otter, who thought that Angus would make a tasty dinner. The otter was heading towards Angus, with a hungry look in his eye, when out of the water jumped the biggest fish Angus had ever seen. He knocked the otter back onto the bank, and it ran away under a low-hanging tree, screaming its head off. The fish lifted Angus with his tail and flipped him onto the side of the river like an owl-shaped pancake. Angus gathered his breath and thanked the fish. I am Grimacy Sideface, said the fish. Angus noted that part of the fish's face was scarred and this meant he talked out of only one side of his big fishy mouth. I'm a pike and I live here. I look after the river and everyone else who lives here. Angus had introduced himself, and the two became friends. Grimacy Sideface was the wisest person that Angus had ever met, and Angus gave him a nickname, The Professor. As these thoughts rushed through his mind, he could see the drama unfolding beneath him. Grimacy was racing to the closing sluice gate, and trapped between the gates, by a discarded plastic bag, was a little fish. Hang on, Sophie, called Grimacy. The little fish cried and thrashed about. Help, I can't get free and the gates will close on me. Calm down, yelled Grimacy. Breathe deeply and swim into the bag. Oh, we'll make it, Sophie. You'll be fine. Just stay calm. The little fish took a breath and swam into the bag. Her family watched from the river in horror as the gates continued to move closer to the little fish. Grimacy Sideface redoubled his efforts and flicked his huge tail to get more speed. But the gate was closing and he was running out of time. Angus saw a strong piece of wood sticking up from some old fencing. He puffed up his body and spread his wings. He grabbed the strong stick from the fence at the side of the river bank and just managed to get it into the closing gates before poor Sophie was squashed. The gates stopped. Seconds later, Grimacy took a huge leap. Angus watched in awe as the fish flew through the air and grabbed the plastic bag containing the little fish and gently landed back into the water. Just then, there was a loud crack as the stick broke 
and the sluice gates finally closed. Angus watched as Grimacy Sideface gently opened the bag and out swam little Sophie into the river. Thank you, she hugged Grimacy. I could have died. You are the bravest, fastest and strongest fish in the river. Sophie swam back to her family. Her mother hugged Grimacy and gave him a large bag of his favourite cakes. Angus landed gently on a tree branch that overhung the river. Grimacy swam over. Thank you, Angus. That was really quick thinking. I would not have made it if you hadn't stopped the gates. Angus was full of the type of pride you get when someone important gives you a compliment. That's okay, Professor. I owe you about fifty times that. Grimacy and Angus stayed together, sharing the cakes, talking about their adventures since they had last met, and the world faded away.